नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट मेक इन इंडिया कैंपेन एंड टुडे इन द सेशन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इंटरव्यू शेड्यूल विद आईएमआर रिसोर्सेज बिफोर द सेशन वी ऑलरेडी कवर्ड द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ इंटरव्यू इन दैट वी हैव एक्सप्लेन द इंट्रोडक्शन ओके लाइक ए जॉब प्रोफाइल एंड क्वालिफिकेशन ओके इधर द बेसिक डिटेल्स वी हैव एक्सप्लेन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन देन in second round we uh, explain the export activity in third round we explain the import activity now in this round we will cover the job description related to the interview resources imr resources okay so we will cover one by one okay so as we already discussed the global uh, this company deal with the global trading where they move the material from the sources where it is available and they uh, they supply the place where these are not available okay so this is the arrange the supply chain management from the uh, resources where available surplus and transfer to the location where these are demanded okay so this is the global trader trading company okay now uh, if we talk about the job description so here job description is as per below mention we will discuss here properly okay so the checking contract okay checking contract cif hss and stock and sales from the supplier okay so you have to check the contract okay contract is the perform invoice okay so you have to check out whether how is the perform invoice prepared what is the inco terms is cif is inco term is okay for us or fop inco terms is okay for us we have to evaluate this inco terms basis of the pricing related like the supplier giving us the cif basis invoice okay so we will check the freight charges in that invoice and we compare this freight charges with our nominate agent if they are providing freight charges lower than supplier freight charges then we will we can amend this contract as a fob terms and say that freight will be pay from our side okay so is in this way we have to check out the contract and evaluate the things where which will be favor of the organization now hss okay hss code should be check it checked out okay now uh, still uh, stock and sales okay stock is available or not this also need to confirm with supplier if not available then we we can move to the another supplier okay then customer to ensure terms agreed correct okay we have to check out that term is correct or not waiting of the purchase order okay then sales contract and ensure they are back to back okay the all thing which are as per organization as sop we need to check out that we are whatever we doing is correct or not okay okay before completing the any step in the organization we have to check out as per all the process should be as per sop special uh, standard procedure of working okay so uh, he, now next one is ensure issuing transport document instructions okay so here you have to issue the transport document instructions okay how this can be done like eh? just your shipment is coming from the seaport to our factory okay so in such case you have to contact the agent okay if agent is not uh, agent giving higher charges of the transport then in such case we will appoint our transporter okay if the charges are low then we appoint our nominate transporter okay and instruct instruct to that shipment need to deliver to the our front so in such case we have to arrange the e way bill okay 
then ensure all required document like a bill of lading certificate of origin packing list invoice test certificate are received from supplier in shipper time okay this is very important thing you need to understand that all the document related to shipments need to be received in time otherwise it will be problem that not we cannot file the bill of lading in time then it will be charged to us okay so we make sure that all document received from supplier in time okay now prepare letter of credit opening instructions for the customer and checking lc is workable okay so here we need to understand that the lc which we need to prepare here we are the buyer okay and seller supplier who is dispatching good goods to us so we need to open the lc because the requirement of the supplier that they are saying that please we will may uh, we uh, please arrange the lc okay so for that what we will do as per our performer invoice received from the supplier we will prepare the draft copy draft of that lc okay and send to the bank maybe you have not to do this work but your banking team will do this work but the basic informations need to understand there is a draft in which there are lc clause are mentioned okay there are very very important clause which we need to understand as per our contract like a latest date of shipments value of the shipments okay port of loading port of discharge okay documents requirement other than this uh, we can say the any additional documents okay so this thing need to check properly okay so uh, when we prepare the drop we have to send this drop to the bank okay then bank will send this drop to the uh, uh, they bank prepare the lc drop and send back to us for the approval so we, we have to check out whether the all thing is are in favor of the con, con, organization or not okay okay now uh, uh, responsible for close coordination with the port operations okay so if you are you, if you are a job of this uh, you are the part of this job then you have to closely coordination with the port operation port operation what are the port operation port operation is the operation in which the your shipment will handle okay the container is your container is unloaded from the ship okay and you need to understand the operation the handling charges may occurs or container storage charges may occur so this thing you need to understand you have to coordinate with the correct and right sub, uh, custom house agent or freight forwarder who can do this things rightly okay then ensure the draft documents from the supplier are met our conditions okay so just document whatever we receive from our supplier we have to check out whether these are the okay or not like a, its document is can be filed below entry or not okay so in such way we can check out okay now uh, responsible for handling descriptions free documents okay one more line will have i think though. so as per require uh, custom requirement we do all the thing okay okay as per custom required we do the all thing so as per custom requirement and term and condition are met with received document from supplier or not we need to ensure this thing then as per line with the require for the customer side negotiation okay so this these are the terms as per line and as per custom and the negotiation with the customer we need to check out this thing okay so here this company is the trader okay so maybe you also need to understand the requirement of the customer because what we are doing here we just buying the goods from overseas and trading these goods to another 
डोमेस्टिक लेवल कस्टमर है सो वी ऑल्सो नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द एक्चुअल रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द कस्टमर ओके नाउ रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर हैंडलिंग डिस्क्रिपेंसी फ्री डॉक्यूमेंट्स ओके वट एवर डॉक्यूमेंट मैंशन इन द एल सी नीड टू चेक आउट वेदर वी रिसीव डॉक्यूमेंट फ्रॉम द बैंक ऑन फ्रॉम द सप्लायर ऑन आर्ट वी हैव टू चेक आउट एंड इंश्योरिंग दिस थिंग एंड अदर थिंग वेन वी सब फाइलिंग द बिलो एंट्री वी हैव टू चेक आउट वेयर ऑल कंडीशन आर मीटिंग विद अवर रिक्वायरमेंट एंड कस्टमर रिक्वायरमेंट एंड द कस्टमर रिक्वायरमेंट आर नॉट ओके देन नेगोशिएशन विद द बैंक फॉर इंश्योरिंग स्मूथ डॉक डिस्काउंटिंग ओके यू हैव टू ऑल्सो नेगोशिएट विद द बैंक फॉर द स्मूथ डिस्काउंटिंग ओके यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग बिकॉज दैट सम बैंक गिव यू डिस्काउंट and some may not so you have to understand this thing where you can get a chance for the discounting then uh, responsible for timing preparation and execution of the document from other local overseas office okay just like a, we are the trader here and our another office is located in the overseas so we have to check out whether uh, we are receiving document timely or not if not then we have to follow up with our overseas office in which we have to check out custom in custom invoices beneficiary certificate and other beneficiary document as per lc custom uh, country specific requirement okay this thing need to understand okay so you are the responsible for this thing okay now monitoring stock receiving okay okay so whatever we are placing order in import case we have to check out whether our stock is available or not if stock is not available then we can place order if is stock is already already available and we have to check out the step as per the sop that in which time and what uh, actual time to place the order okay then dispatch at the warehouse okay stock is available and also need to check out whether we are dispatching to the customer is material is uh, available or not then port plot issuing delivery order licensing with the port authority and the custom smooth discharging of cargo and this thing also need to be ensured okay so first stock management then uh as per order placed by the customer this dispatch to the customer then port plot okay and issuing delivery order okay issuing delivery order means that you can uh, you can uh, hand over this good to the authorized person who is the uh, actual entitler of the goods then licensing with the port authority okay you know that that every, you know very well that every port have a cfs that they have a specific discount for the specific customer if you are regularly importing the goods or exporting good in such case they provide you the special discount so you have to license it with this port and understand to register with this specific uh, cfs specific other uh, handling authority at the port okay so that you will be discounted for the same then custom smooth discharging cargo also need to understand approving railway independent placement and execution handling okay and a stable stabling contract this thing need to understand okay so in this process we have to understand all the requirement of the customer okay and understand the procedure which is meeting with our requirement or not so guys in this session we have understand that what is the actual process with the in this respect of the imr resources job descriptions where what is the key responsibility okay so we have tried to understand you in the session okay briefly we will try to understand that we have to check the documents which receive from the supplier okay I need to negotiate the contract terms okay before place uh, uh, purchase sending the purchase order you have to check out all the term and conditions 
okay you have to issue the document instruction to the transporter okay also you need to check out whether the old document received from supplier are not in time before arrival of the shipment in india then you have to prepare this draft of the lc where you have to check out the important field in the lc which okay. is in favor of the organization okay then responsible to close the coordination with the port authority so these thing we have tried to understand the session so guys we are just going to end the session here thanks for watching the session have a nice day आप पढ़िए